happening right now as voters head to the polls. The state has taken extra measures to make sure every vote is safe and secure. News 13's Jamie Seymour is live this morning showing us how they're going to take make sure that does happen. Good morning, Jamie. Crystal, good morning. You may notice compared to other states, our big safeguard is grabbing a pen and filling out our votes by hand. No computer needed. The Secretary of State's office says paper ballots are able to easily go through count tabulators and are not connected to a computer network or the internet, preventing any potential interference. They also make it possible to recount a single race if needed. However, misinformation can still be spread over the internet pre-voting, and the state says they're taking every step to make sure voters are prepared and educated. We've been fighting really hard here in the state to beat back uh, really dangerous rumors and misinformation. We are going to continue doing that work. The Secretary of State says there are also laws in place to prevent voter intimidation at the polls. Also, firearms are not allowed inside polling locations. If anyone is seen with a gun near the polls, they will be asked to leave and put their gun away before coming back. The counting systems also alert the state if any duplicate votes come in from a registered voter. Crystal, back to you. All right, thanks for that report, Jamie. The state is also working with nonprofit Common Cause, which is placing nonpartisan poll monitors all over as a part of the Election Protection Coalition.